Welcome guys to the new episode of Codzi by YouTube channel. In this episode, we are going to study how to enable the storage in Firebase. So in previous versions of Firebase, storage was free, but now they have upgraded to the Blaze plan. That means to enable the storage, you need to be on the Blaze plan. Okay. So we are going to study how to enable this storage. In previous episodes, we have seen how to enable the authentication in Firebase. Okay. Now we will study about storage. Here you have to upgrade the project and now you have to create a billing account. So I have already created my billing account. So once you create your billing account, that means we need to add the credit card details here inside Google Cloud Console. Once you add that, you need to select the payment method here. I will select this payment method. Okay. Here you can add the minimum budget amount you have to spend on this project. So I will add 23,000. Okay. I will set continue. Okay. Now link Google building account like this. Okay. So now as you can see plan changed completed successfully. Now here we are on the blaze plan. Uh, after you upgrade it to the blaze plan here, what you need to do is select get started here. You can select the no cost location. You can select central one. This is a standard. From here we will continue. And to get everything work properly, select the start in production mode. In test mode, you might face some issues. So I will select the production mode directly. And let's let's create. Okay. Okay, so now our Firebase storage is now set up properly. Go to Flutterflow, select settings, Firebase, Firebase storage and deploy this. If you see any kind of error here so after deployment, what you need to do is, this step is only done when you see the error in Flutterflow, okay? So you can delete the bucket here. Here the name is written. You have to write the name here to delete this bucket. Only when you will see the error, otherwise you can continue creating the UI. Okay. In previous versions of Firebase, uh, storage was free, but now they have upgraded upgraded that for Blaze users on Firebase. That's why we have to do some additional steps. Okay. After deleting the bucket, we will get started. Select US Central here. Continue and start in production mode. Okay. Create. Okay, so these are the steps you need to do. Now let's go to Flutterflow and select deploy button. You can see the issue is resolved. Storage is just you need to add the data like for the videos, for the images. Then only you need the storage, right? So you can use other cloud services also which provide more efficient services if you still get the error. Okay, or if you want to store everything in Firebase storage only then if you are still getting the error then you need to connect with the firebase support team because that error will be from their side okay so make sure you follow the steps properly and do the study in case if you want to try something what you can do is if you can duplicate your complete project again and then you can try deploying the stuff because there might be issues with your firebase setup also okay make sure you have everything set up properly Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. And that's it for today. Thank you guys. See you in the next episode.